After you've read the question, summarize the important parts. This question talks about an electronic transition between two subshells, 5f and 3d. In part A, you're asked to list the quantum numbers n, l, and ml for each subshell. In part B, they want to know how much energy is required to remove the electron from the 3d subshell, or in other words, what is the energy of the 3d subshell. Next is the plan stage. Here we summarize the important information needed to solve the problem. For part A, remember that subshells are written in the form NL, and L is represented by letters. S corresponds to 0, P corresponds to 1, D corresponds to 2, and so on. Also, remember ML has the range negative L to positive L. For part B, we can use this energy expression to determine the energy of the subshell 3D. Note that the units are already in joules, so no unit conversion is necessary. Now we can solve the problem. Part A. Subshell 3D has a principal quantum number of 3, an L value of 2, and an ML range of negative 2 to positive 2. Subshell 5F has a principal quantum number of 5, an L value of 3, and an ML range of negative 3 to positive 3. Part B. Substitute the value for n into the energy expression and solve. Finally, check your work. Do you have the right number of sig figs? Does your answer make sense? Here is a case where the answer does not make sense. The question asks how much energy is required to remove the electron. Energy must be added to remove an electron, so the answer should be positive. Our answer is negative because we calculated the energy of the subshell, not the energy required to remove an electron from that subshell. Simply reverse the sign, and we're done.